Hey guys, Eric here, covering one of my biggest pet peeves in the fitness industry, and that is the argument between bro science and the evidence-based research guys that need 18 studies to prove that a bicep curl can get you jack biceps. So looking at one side of the argument, the bro science guys are ones that necessarily look at you know, what has worked in the gym and don't necessarily need a scientific reference to back it up. Um, some more annoying claims that you hear from bro science or the straight up bro community would be all you need to do is bench squat and deadlift because that's what X, Y, and Z book said and that'll take care of all your core training and that's all you need to do or all you need to do is get strong or looking more specifically Arnold did this so that's all you need to do all right you know there's definitely things that we can learn from people who've gotten excellent results with the different training methodologies but nothing is going to be you know, 100% true one way or the other. Now, on the flip side, we have the evidence-based crew. And a lot of times the evidence-based crew will be, um, be folks who are just looking directly for a research study to validate everything. So like, if we're talking about glute activation, the study would start and end with this one study that has glute activation in one direction, right? It says that maybe hip thrust is better than a squat or a Bulgarian split squat is better than a step back lunge or what have you. And the problem with both of these approaches is there is no direct line to draw between what works for one person versus what works for somebody else. You know, there needs to be a combination of both valid research that looks at the specific people that you're trying to test a particular training methodology on, um, applies to their training age, applies to their experience, it applies to um, their training goals, nutrition, all that stuff is factored in, but it also needs to be practical. You know, not everything needs to be validated by a study, because not everything can be validated by a study. There's too many factors to control. But what can happen is looking exclusively in one direction, either for for research to completely make a point without having any practical application or trying something in person with a variety of people. But you also cannot just take a bro science idea of if it worked for Arnold or it worked for so-and-so, it's gonna work for me. The better approach is get some experience in the gym first, see what's working for you, and also see what the research is saying at the same time. If you have questions on a particular topic, obviously look at research and see you know what situations are pointing to the result that you're looking for but you have to understand that you can't be all one side in terms of bro science but you can't also completely lean towards research you have to have a combination of both and until the entire industry as a whole can start looking at research for what it is um, you know a great tool to move the industry forward and get some basic standards in terms of what works and what doesn't but also combine the hands-on experience that people are getting in the trenches that can't always be quantified with a research study with 17 college age males between the age uh, or between the age of 18 and 22 who are having 2700 calories and they just want to go out and get drunk and get laid and still can work out the next day you can't really apply the same logic all the way across so see what works use your experience take that experience look at what the research says and then try to apply it to different groups if it works as well as the research says and works across a great number of people, awesome. You have something that might work, but you can't lean one way or the other completely and still do a great job as a coach. Um, that's all it is on this little soapbox. I am wearing a bro tank without a shoulder pump doing a video, which is kind of embarrassing. So I'm going to end this now and do some lateral raises, bro. Talk to you later.